this is a very special day because we are organizing this webinar in the context of the international day of yoga and the topic is a very important one uh, he is of course a senior monk or sanyasi of yogoda satsang society of india founded by shri shri paramansa yogananda in 1917 it is a 107 years old organization swami pavitra nand ji completed his ba in economics at a prestigious university in malaysia after pursuing post graduation in public administration he served in the malaysian administration service which is equivalent to the ias in india in the pages of paramansa yogananda's autobiography of a yogi he found the solution to the enigma of life that is god personally it has been lit jesus have worked for swami ji during the course of the past few years it is a sheer delight joy to have the swami pavitrananda ji to this important and shooting him is organizing it is uh, privileged to have the association of ys yogada satsang society of india and swami pavitrananda ji's presence in this webinar we have we will invariably ask how do we know our souls because if it is so important in our life how do we know our souls the answer is meditation the answer is yoga and if you bring it into the teaching of uh, paramanse yogananda ji it is kriya yoga we are very fortunate that there are many saints who have renounced everything and they have retired to a very secluded place to search for their soul and they have found it and not only they have found they have also shared the way the methodology or the technique how they found their soul among the saints we have parmans yogananda ji who we are very fortunate he not only talked about god he realized god and for those who are seeking god he has shared the techniques of meditation that he has used to find his soul and god little bit i would like to share about uh, paramanand yogananda ji here because in this context he is very relevant he is he is a visionary he knew that in this modern age people will be very busy they cannot go to an ashram in some secluded place and sit at the feet of the guru and listen to his guidance or even stay in the ashram for a long extended period to learn the meditation techniques knowing this he had created a new system where all the meditation techniques that one need to know to find god he has made them into home study lessons which are delivered or posted to your home and they are so easy to follow easy to uh practice and it is so scientific so he has given all this so that we who are caught up in so much in our day to day life get an opportunity to practice those meditation techniques and find our soul and find god there is so much energy and attention focused in discovering the external world and saints like parmans yogananda ji came to this world to show that we need to discover the inner world within us which parmanse ji saying is the storehouse 
of all potentials or all that we need to take our life in a happy and successful way so today let let us explore some of the basic techniques that paramahansa ji has shared with us to discover the undreamed of possibilities of our soul before we get into meditation arman sir ji has said we need to have a preliminary preparation the main the most important thing is our posture it has to be correct the spine has to be erect and the abdomen in chest out and the shoulders slightly at the back and the chin parallel to the ground and the hands palms upturned kept between the thigh and the abdomen and the eyes focus between the eyebrows here at this po- this po- point and in from this point one is ready to start his meditation the next part that i want to share for us to go into meditation is an exercise called tension and relaxing exercise let us practice this exercise which will relax our body and mind it is like a car which you are driving if the handbrakes are on then there is a drag so here we are trying to release that handbrake so that we can dive deep into our mind and then move beyond the mind beyond the body into the soul and let us uh, i will read out the Uh, method how to practice this tension and relaxation exercise first expel the breath through mouth in a double exhalation and this is how it is done all the breath is expelled through the mouth next inhale deeply through the nostrils tensing the whole body and clenching the fist next hold the breath and the tension to a mental count of 6 then you expel the breath through mouth through a double exhalation and relax the tension so i'll repeat one more time expel the breath through mouth in a double exhalation inhale deeply through the nostrils tensing the whole body and clenching the fist hold the breath and tension to a count of 6 expel breath through mouth through a double exhalation and relax the tension of the body so let us wherever you are seated let us practice this three times do you feel that your body and mind is more relaxed now let us invoke the presence of the divine through a small prayer you can visualize god as a divine light or and any favorite image that you would like to visualize and visualize that image at the point between the eyebrows and pray with devotion from your heart asking for god's blessings for this meditation please repeat after me beloved god lead us from darkness to light from ignorance to wisdom and from restlessness to peace om 
शांति शांति शांत नेक्स्ट लेटस प्रैक्टिस अ ब्रीदिंग टेक्निक कॉल्ड ट्वेंटी 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 दैट वॉज गिवेन टू अस बाय परमंस योगानंद जी टू ऑक्सीजिनेट द बॉडी एंड कीप अस अलर्ट वेन वी आर मेडिटेटिंग एंड देर आर फ्यू स्टेप्स दैट वी नीड टू फॉलो आई विल रीड इट आउट टू यू first inhale slowly and deeply through the nostrils to a count of 20 next hold the breath to a count of 20 next exhale slowly and completely through the mouth to a count of 20 so it's very simple inhale slowly through the nostrils to a count of 20 hold the breath to a count of 20 then exhale slowly through the mouth to a count of 20 so key points before we practice this uh, technique if 20 is too long a count for you you can do 10 count or even 6 but remember the inhalation the holding and exhalation should be same and you have to inhale and exhale slowly and consciously and always remember to keep the attention at the point between the eyebrows now let us practice and i let us practice for six times while we are practicing i will be calling the count to a count of 10 and once we finish the practice for six times we will go straight into the guided meditation session okay let us start inhale 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 hold the breath to count of 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 exhale the breath through the mouth 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 now you practice yourself for another 5 times now forget your breath and let it flow and in and out naturally of its own accord now feel the body and mentally talk to it and say relax feel the physical relaxation relax and feel the relaxation now mentally talk to your mind and say relax let go of all cares and worries relax and feel the relaxation relax and feel the relaxation
if you are feeling a sense of peace that's the first proof of god's presence within a faint glimpse of your soul let's merge and enjoy that peace for a couple of minutes embrace that peace become one with it if restless thoughts come let them go release them focus your attention on the peace keep the gaze between the eyebrows be aware of the peace hold on to it embrace it become one with it if the mind wanders gently and patiently bring it back to the peace
enjoy the feeling of peace for you are the feeling of peace continue to keep your eyes closed when i am reading this excerpts from paramahansa yogananda ji just mentally listen to this peace fills my body peace fills my heart and dwells within my love peace within without everywhere god is peace i am his child i am peace god and i are one peace fills my body peace fills my heart and dwells within my love peace within without everywhere god is peace i am his child i am peace god and i are one peace fills my body peace fills my heart and dwells within my love peace within without everywhere god is peace i am his child i am peace god and i are one god is peace i am his child i am peace god and i are one god is peace i am his child i am peace god and i are one go on mentally repeating this affirmation as you go deeper into the state of peace You may now open your eyes. How was it? How was this experience? Were you able to feel the peace and the adjoining or the accompanying joy? The sense of the presence of God within you? that is your real nature we are peace we are joy we are happiness just few thoughts i would like to share here after this guided meditation it's more of a concluding thoughts to give the importance to the practice of meditation science is increasingly proving that with meditation the brain cells are changed beneficially 
and with this change our perception our thought process our ability to make decision our ability to handle the challenges of life becomes better we become a better person a successful person and happy person and this is the benefit that meditation gives us by just spending half an hour in the morning half an hour an hour in the evening that half an hour can give us immense benefit because it changes the brain cells beneficially and with that change we can operate our day to day life in a better way in a more successful way more efficient way more productive way i am talking from my 45 years of practicing the meditation techniques taught by paramahansa yogananda ji they are so powerful they bring within you the inherent the built in those Thank you uh, very much, Swami Ji, for that uh, very inspiring and heartfelt talk and the guided meditation, which will be very useful to all attendees as well as we'll share it with all on YouTube. And uh, yes, Swami Ji, the question is how to be even-minded in all situations, including in adverse circumstances. Yes, even-minded. Even-minded. Actually, uh, what happens when we are faced with adverse situation most of us uh, we have that fear the worry of the worst case scenario what would be the worst thing that can happen that's a adverse situation that uh, we can come to but what uh, paramahansa yogananda ji is saying that god has given you the ability to think the ability to believe in yourself the ability to see how to uh, take that adverse situation and make it into parts and see what that you can do if you take the whole problem it can be very overwhelming you divide it into small pieces and then see what can be done now to solve part of it it's it's a, it's a, it's an action plan that we can uh, do and also as i mentioned earlier that if we we have the faith in ourselves the self confidence in ourselves we we say that we can handle like when when i mentioned about that uh, symboly symbol of uh, roots you know uh, the storm can shake the tree but if the roots are very strong the roots which i mentioned is faith surrender believing in ourselves believing in the ability to handle this problem the courage fearlessness all these qualities come together to aid us to handle this adverse situation but again as i mentioned to you you have to acquire them you have to use this meditation techniques that were given to us by our saints and sages because they know we cannot run away from the tigers that are just waiting to pounce on us so we need to be prepared we need to have all this within us and those who have them and which they have acquired through meditation if you feel do a analysis they are relatively successful in handling the adverse situations that happens in our life so this is my own life experience which i have gone through and i have found that it looks very daunting but then when you believe in yourself it's a question of belief then you can deal with it you can handle it you can overcome it and that's my answer to that question thank you swami ji that is a very enlightening answer and i'm sure the attendees and the viewers will benefit from that